Hello everyone, and today I'll be showing you everything you need to know about decals on Roblox and how to upload them and how to use them. You can upload any picture as long as it goes with the Roblox rules, and if it has a transparent background, if the picture does, then it'll be transparent on Roblox. Pretty much, pretty basic. You gotta to upload one. You gotta develop at the top, and then you go to decals over here, and then you pick whatever file you want. I'm just gonna upload this one for the video. And then over here, this little you can either click inventory or you can do it right here. You can configure. You can change the name and the description. Allow comments. If you want other people to be able to use this and take it, then you check free item right here. But if you don't, then you uncheck it and only you can use it. And then you save that. And then to use it, you go in a game on Roblox. Just gonna upload or open a random one in Roblox Studio here. And I'm going to insert a brick. Change this real quick so it's smooth. Okay, and then first you gotta make sure you have the toolbox over here. So you go to view at the top, and then make sure toolbox is on. If it's not, you can just go ahead and click it and it'll pop right up. And then you go to models. And then you go to My Decals. You can also search all of them just by clicking Decals, or you can go to yours and see the one you uploaded. And then you click on it, and you just go to any surface of the brick, and it'll put it right on there. It'll highlight it when you do that. And it'll resize with the brick. And again, if it's if the picture is transparent in the background, it'll show up that way in Roblox. And you can also, over here, in Explore, you can either click the arrow by the brick and it'll be put in there and you can select it that way or you can just double click the surface of it and one thing over here is you can change the transparency of it and changing the color really doesn't do too much it just kinda changes the hue of it and then texture ID I'll show you this real quick this is usually right at this point all you need to know but sometimes if you're doing more if you're doing other things and you want to use the picture on that, you might need to know this part. So let's say over here I have something like a particle emitter. I'll add real quick if I can find it. <laughs> and say so you want the decal on here, or sometimes it'll be on a GUI. You might have to use what they call a texture ID somewhere, and that is not the link to it. I'll show you how to get that real quick. You just highlight it, and then over here where it says texture, just copy these numbers at the end. And then over here where it says texture, you put that there, and there it is. That is how you get the texture ID of the decal. It'll be right, right in the properties of it. And you usually only need the numbers at the end, and again, there's a few random things you'll have to use that for, but if you're just putting it on a brick, then that is all. And that's about, that's about all for the video. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment them below or message me on Roblox. And thanks for watching.